Michael Hernandez of MLH Media and Valley Fight News, and I'm here today at Royal Combat Promotions with a very, very distinguished guest, the man himself, Cheeto Vera. How are you doing today, brother? Good, man. Enjoying the show and supporting Christine. You know, Coach Gary is fighting today, so came here to support tonight. Yes, you are a UFC, some would say a legend in the bantamweight division. You have created some of the most spectacular highlights. Your kicks are known around the world. But what are some things that you have picked up with uh, Jason Perillo, your coach out of, of Ruka Boxing? He's obviously uh, the partner for Christine. You know, he's going to be in the corner for her tonight. What are some things that you have learned from Perillo that have helped you to advance so far in your MMA career? Um, he's a great coach, have a great mindset and you know, he take you to the right direction and you know, fundamentals and really, really heavy basics that you know, get you a long way and I've been showing it lately. Yes, your striking abilities have gone up the roof. We have always known Cheeto Vera has that grappling expertise hailing from Ecuador. I feel like all those guys come from there. They just all have that grappling expertise down to a T. And that striking has just seemed to, it's like fine wine with you, Cheeto. You have just like gone up every single fight. But speaking about a next fight, we know you had your last fight against Corey Sanhagen. And you're looking for another fight coming up here. We always, we always see your tweets, you know. You're always looking to kind of stir things up in the bantamweight division what are some guys that you're maybe looking at and you're you're eyeing for uh your upcoming bantamweight fight well i feel right now jan merab uh Sehuro, any of those guys can set me up to the to the top and eventually get a title shot but most important thing i'm ready to go i'm healthy and you know eventually i'm gonna kick some ass yes you always do seem to kick some ass whenever you do get in the octagon but you you always love to post your cardio whenever you are on your Instagram and whenever you're uh, seeming to be on your social media. Is that a big thing that you would love to emphasize to a lot of these young fighters? Because I feel that a lot of these guys, they seem to be focusing so much on the gym and this, but a lot of guys, they don't see the work that you put in, the 12-mile runs, the 15-mile runs. Is that something that you have just always have instilled, as you as in, instilled in you as a fighter to always keep up that endurance and pace? I feel like, you know, everybody can get to a, to a high level, everybody can learn how to fight, but the moment you get tired, the moment you get weak in the fight, there's no technique that can help you at that point, right? So I believe in heavy cardio, getting pretty strong, and then the rest, you know, I can pick up technique little by little and get, get better with time, but if you're in shape, you can do pretty much everything in life. Yes, and uh, you have definitely been in shape. You are also helping another gentleman getting in shape by the name of Peso Pluma. He has been visiting Ruka Training Center, been getting a little bit active with you and I Coach Perillo and all the guys over there, Elijah Ozuna as well. So what have you had to say about uh, Peso Pluma, which means featherweight in English? A lot of people actually uh, have been telling me they did it, didn't know that. But uh, what have you had to say about his uh, technique so far in the gym? He's a, he's, a, he's a cool kid, he comes, he's mellow, he comes to train and he's a nice guy, you know, he's, been, he's been doing great and we actually spar a little bit the other day, we move around and you know, he, got, he got energy, you know, he, he comes and throws so hopefully he, he sticks around and he keeps training. Do you see a boxing or an MMA debut coming from him anytime soon? I mean, you know, they have, they have a big name as an artist already so I feel they can do whatever they want at some <laughs> point but first things first, you know, he got a... Keep improving and uh, keep, keep training, you know, that, that, that will help him and set him up for later. Yes, he is definitely going to keep on improving those skills, especially if he sticks with you and all your guys coming out of Ruka, uh, Jamil Turner over there. I, he, I believe he's in Thailand training at the moment. And there, you guys are just, you guys are all just uh, have been consistently putting in work for these past couple of years so i really got to give you your commends on that but just the last couple of questions here cheeto i really appreciate your time today um this is is this your first time ever at the royal combat promotions yeah first time here and they, they have a pretty nice structure it look for like i said before for, for an amateur show it looks pretty good from the outside nice ring and good good structure overall Yes, very much so, and we hope to have you ever, uh, more. Uh, we hope to have you more over here at Royal Combat Promotions. Uh, I'm hoping to see you more in the octagon. Obviously, you always look to put on a show, and I know whoever it is, Marab Dashavili, Peter Yan, wh whoever wants to get in that octagon with you, it's going to definitely be a long night for them, man. Was there any uh, last little things, any tidbits you wanted to add, any shout-outs you wanted to give? Uh, I know you obviously have your coaches at Ruka. Uh, was there any uh, big shout-outs or any... Uh, any big uh, commandments you wanted to give today? Oh, we're just, just happy to be here, you know, happy to be alive and, you know, enjoying the show tonight. So, 
Thank you so much. Hey, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you today, my man. Michael Hernandez of MLH Media, and I'm getting to sign out with the man himself, Cheeto Vera. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, thank, thank you hey, so much for your time, brother. bro.